Welcome to episode 7 of Project Zomboid Hardcore Survival with Jeffrey Harris. My name is Sergeant Smoothie, and today we're going to be doing a lot of prep and stuff in general. Okay, why am I in pain? Oh yeah, of course, we uh, exercised yesterday. You get exercise fatigue on your body. Now that can actually stop you sleeping as well. Um, I mean, exercise fatigue in real life can be pretty bad. I've had the dumbs before, but I've never had it so bad that I've not been able to function. But I do recall it being relatively painful if you... You know, worse than I thought it would be. Um, though most people just call you a bit of a wuss, or me. Right, 37 chance of disassembling. So this is the first thing we're going to start doing. Ah, oh, that was pretty good. So, um, got my planks, got my nails. That's what I wanted. That was unlikely. Well, I say it's unlikely. It's less likely than... Uh, likely and unlikely are weird words, actually. Sorry. Strange, strange topic of conversation, but like likely actually means almost certain. Apparently. I always thought likely it was like 80% in my mind, but I mean, I guess it's open to interpretation, but from people I've spoken to, they said it's like, no, it's more like um, certain, like almost certainly going to happen. And the same with unlikely. I always held out hope. Oh, I can't barricade this window from the inside. Oh, wow. So that's a glitch on this as well. You can't barricade this window from the inside. It's just going to have to be an outside one. So we've actually got a weakness in our base. Not that um, particularly matters, I know it says no zombies around, but later on, we never know. The, the horde should ramp up. Shit, so that is actually a potential weakness. I suppose I could dismantle the counter to get to the window, but then will that fix the glitch? I don't know. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, unlikely. I always held out hope that if someone said something was unlikely, then, uh, then it would still sort of happen. But uh, no, unlikely means no, it's just not going to happen, basically. Um, right, I... Don't really want to read first day for beginners because I feel like it's a bit of a waste of time. But um, got to do something in the house today, so we might as well do that. Um, and something else I discovered as well. I've heard that you can fill. No, I heard you can fill from the washing machine. But uh, again, that was in the newer version of the game, so yeah, didn't expect it to work in this one, even if um, even if it was or available on that um, machine. Pretty cool from this sink. I guess there's still a bit of water kicking around in the pipes. So, I don't think we have an axe. I think that's one thing we are missing. It'd be good if we had one. Um, I'll check the gear bags, but uh, I'm pretty sure we don't. And uh, we're going to need to cut down some trees and get rid of our boredom. So, see here, there's nothing uh, suggesting we do have one. Um, we should probably fuel a car as well, actually. Oh, of course. When I um, when I get in the car and there's something already on the seat, that is not me getting the key out of the pocket because it's already in my. I've already got the cut uh, the pocket on me. Oh, I can wash the vehicle as well. Hmm. Anyway, um, that's not me getting the key out of my pocket. That's me moving the stuff on the seat over to another seat so I can get in there, isn't it? Right. Well, whatever. This can now go in the back. Um, or can it? Have I put enough fuel in the car? Oh, it's empty. Okay. Right, well, definitely can go in the back then. I thought maybe I hadn't filled the car. Well, how much fuel do we have in it now? Then? God, let's go so slow. I mean, that's enough. Got enough on us, we can always go back to the fuel station. I cannot believe I'm overloaded by four sheets. Sheets shouldn't weigh as much as they do. I guess it's meant to be like a double bed sheet, but I mean, shit. Uh, I guess I can hang up a sheet on the outside of this. Can I add a sheet to the outside? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, well, whatever. Um, just have to accept that we won't be able to see out of that window. Don't know if any others need some sheets. I'm just going to fast forward time and just check the other windows. Um, I know this one does, but I don't think you guys need to see me just faff around with this thing. So. Wow, this room doesn't have a bar. It doesn't have a window. I mean, yeah, it's a bathroom, but damn, what? might as well have put a window in this room. Okay, well, this also doesn't have one. So, as we have a surplus of sheets right now, and I know I can make sheet ropes, but um, I can also use the um, 
clothes I have, which I can just get from zombies. A lot of clothing can be made into a sheet rope, sheet rope, so I might as well just use that instead of actual sheets, which are quite not valuable, but like um, they don't have that many uses in comparison. Oh, we're carrying a saw around and the hammer. No, the, just the saw. I guess that will um, contribute to me being slightly over encumbered. Right. Sorry, just check I'm recording. Um, wait, don't want to disassemble any of that. Red wooden chair. Yeah, here we go. Corner B shelves. Bookshelves. It's got to be. Right, well, we got some nails, but no wood. I like it when it says you have failed to you, you create any useful materials. Like, you just failed. Oh, God. Oh, we got one plank. Okay. Not all for lost. Um, are we leveling up doing this as well? We are. I don't think we level up much though, like if I, um, I think I've dismantled everything I want to in here. Do we have any useful skill books in here while I'm here? No, um, in fact, well I mean maybe we should just take these, no, I don't know. How much does it weigh? Can we um, take it downstairs? I don't like that bookshelf so far away from uh, everything else. Um, drop the plank a second. Chance to break. Oh, chance to break is 60. Big wall shelves. I mean, maybe I should just craft shelves downstairs. Yeah, let's dismantle. Ooh, screws. Okay. Screws McDuck. Right. Overloaded. Imagine if you died just walking around carrying too much on you. Oh, wait. I thought I turned off my alarms. Oh, I didn't turn off my morning alarm, did I? Okay, I knew I'd regret that. Right, well, whatever. Oh. One, um... Just get two on each of them. I think when you have two, if I open the windows... Uh, if I open the curtains, I can still see out with two. Once you get um, more than that, then you can't. Once you get three or four planks on the window, you can no longer see through the window when you open the curtains. Fun facts, right. Did I damage myself too much? Yeah, reasonably. I'll recover. Very hungry though. Um, I think I'm just going to eat this salmon. Wait, no, 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 not all of it. Um, I think, oh, this is something else I discovered. If I run, then I can actually gradiate how much I eat, so I can stop myself eating too much. Um, so I can eat all again. 25, run, 17, that's pretty good, but uh, it's actually, I don't think it's, I'm not sure if it's impacting, it must still be impacting it behind the scenes, surely. Um, eat a quarter then. Minus seven, I mean we might as well eat all of it now. I uh, I should have just eaten all of it and I could have probably got the um, full to bursting. I just got well fed, I mean that's not too bad I suppose. Yeah, I probably screwed myself a bit there. Um, right. You failed to produce any usable materials. There it is. Finally, a plank. Want to barricade this one? Yeah. I'll keep one chair for now. No, not the curtains. Um, but that's how you pick up curtains without. Uh, without making them into sheets. So if I was just to remove the curtains, then I'd end up with a sheet. Um, oh yeah, click and drag to then place it the way I want. No. Oh, I can't place it there. That's strange. Okay, well it was in front of the window before, okay, whatever. So yeah, I can't put it back where it was. That's strange as well. Yeah, um, I guess I'm starting to see things. I do feel like I've been insane, almost to the point of making the game a bit uninteresting is how um, little interaction we've got around us, like there's no, oh I'm very bored, um, I guess we'll read a book while we're doing this and do some exercise, but uh, I, yeah, I mean the, the threat of the zombies isn't very high, I'm actually tempted to move us to, um, 
tempted to move us to um, West Point just to make it a bit more interesting with the zombie count because there's just none here, you know? There's no threat at the moment. No, I can't get rid of it with just reading a magazine. Almost can, though. Um, and I think reading the uh, skill books makes me more bored, not less. So, hopefully. Oh, I can make a newspaper hat. Wait, I'd never seen that before. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know if that reduces boredom. When we find another one, I'll check that. Wait, no, I have one on me, don't I? Because I, um, oh, I still make newspaper hat. Yeah, stuff it. Wow, it's quite heavy. Right, well, obviously we're going to have this as a hat from now on. Like, lighter than the baseball cap as well, so, like, that's a, that's a buff, that is. That's, that's beneficial to us. Right, so I'm just going to do some exercise and reading again, and maybe even clean my character. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. Just making him do the exercises to the point of exhaustion each time. I mean, I know, this should make you unhappy, like to force yourself to do this um, and you're not really that into fitness. I think actually should make your character unhappy. But I'll just do that and alternate between that and then sit on the floor and read. So while I'm sitting, I'm reducing my exertion um, somewhat. I think resting might reduce it faster. But yeah, I, when I'm sitting on the ground, obviously there's no chair. There's no way to sit in a chair in this game yet. So still stuck with that. Um, right, I've read that book. Oh, I guess I might as well read First Aid now. Um, stop it. I think I'm going to have to start dismantling some cars as well. But uh, yeah, let's just keep reading and uh, all the name between exercise. I think the um, DOMS tomorrow... Sorry, DOMS is delayed onset of muscle soreness. Um, it's the thing you get like where the next day your arms really hurt after doing weights or whatever. And sometimes, it's for me, it's often two days later. Ah, here we go. I'm getting very bored though. Um, I find that I often get it like not the next day, but the day after, and that really messed me up when I was going to the gym because I'd often do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, or something like that, and it's all nine days, and uh, then I get the dumbs at the worst possible time. But uh, yeah, I've been pretty lazy recently, so I don't uh, just eat that cheese as well. Um, I haven't been going to the gym for a while, so it's not been a problem. But I know if I was to go back into it, I'd get it the worst. I remember when you start again. I always thought it felt like it was actually your tendons rather than your actual muscles aching. It felt like they just weren't used to the exertion. And uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, tomorrow this guy's going to hurt like absolute crazy because I'm going to make him do another bout of exercise now. Holding the first aid book in his hands, no less. Um, burpees, exercise fatigue will be felt on arms and legs. So, well, stuff it. Let's just go. There, so we're now exhausted, but we can go to bed. Right, I'm just going to skip forward to that point where I go to bed actually, just bear with me. Oh, he's woken up terrified and in pain. I ain't going back to sleep now. Right, 3 a.m. Yeah, shit, he's really anxious and in severe pain. It'd be good if it said, like, how um, the exercise fatigue, like, how bad it was on each thing. Severe exercise fatigue would be the one for this one. Right, I guess, I think um, reading a book reduces stress as well, so I think we're going to be grabbing a book and reading that this morning. Um, this is going to be another day of uh, just doing some stuff around the house, I think. We're going to see if we can make a tree uh, axe and chop down some trees. And uh, so just bear with me a second while I read this book. Right. Agony. I'm in agony right now. I don't think I have any painkillers either. Surely I had someone I looted um, Cortman Medical. I must have some somewhere. Kind of refuse to believe I have none. Ah, well, there's some here right, right here. Take pills. Oh, is this all of my medical supplies? I'm actually... I kind of want to get, uh, like, a bum bag. You get those... Um, called fanny packs in America, didn't they? And I, I don't know if I should take another pill as well. I don't know if you could overdose on pills in this game. I did read that if you drink alcohol after taking painkillers, you can't die. 
So that's quite fun. Um, I'm not going to make him exercise today. I think I am just going to make him clean his clothes though, because they are awful. But uh, yeah, so just bear with me while I do that. Ah, I've, oh, wrong button. I've used all of the soap, I think. No, I've used all of the water in that sink. Um, I've washed myself, but I'm still covered in blood, so I think we'll, uh, I was like to say I'm covered in blood, but let's uh, just get the jeans clean. Oh, there's two sinks up here, right, okay. 14 water that I have available, 14 out of 70, so I don't see the point of washing um, these things, but jeans. It's interesting that it uses the same amount of water to wash the bat as it does to wash my jeans, but okay. Oh, ah, now I can't wash. Ah, but I can wash with this sink, can't I? Right, t-shirt. And myself again. Wow, I... Okay, well, I've got enough water for both, I think. Right, our character's clean. I think his clothes will be wet, but... No, um, only his shirt is. I guess it dries pretty quickly. I wouldn't try that quickly in real life. Right, let's just uh, go next door, I think, and just start dismantling some stuff. Uh, I'll stay off the boredom, though. I am hungry. Right. Yeah, we better be quick, actually, because the painkillers are going to wear off soon. Let's drop a book and uh, let's just go. Put food on us. Ah, painkillers are worn off. Agony again. Right, well, I wouldn't be able to do this in agony, so I will take some more. Hey. Uncooked pork chop. Right, I'll come back for that. It's not fresh, but it's uncooked. Yeah, this is none of this is useful. But one last use out of it. Oh, it's meant to be a rattan chair, is it? Oh, I quite like this low, low glass table. Do I get any glass out of it? <laughs> no. No usable materials, right? Oh, like it is. Um, I think if I gather up the scrap wood, I don't think the scrap wood even. I don't know if you can use it for fire. I guess you can use it for campfires, can you? Surely you can at least use it for that. Oh, sorry. I just gather up. I don't like the mess it makes. Just, it's just messy, okay? It's not the dumb thing. Right, I'm gonna break these down now. Two hundred and five point three eight, and then sorry, two hundred and eighteen. So I mean, I'm not getting a lot of XP here at all. Could really have done without missing woodcraft because on one of my playthroughs, I watched all of the woodcrafts, and I think ah, uh, but I did take a handy trait. But I ended up with about level five carpentry, so um, yeah, could have really and I'm a fast learner, so I could have really done with the uh, XP boost from doing that. Right, um. In agony again. I don't know if I should be bothering with taking pills actually because these are the only pills I've got. Maybe I should save them for when I'm actually injured and I need them. I don't know, I just don't think I'm going to leave my character in agony, you know, it's just not very fair. Um, I don't know what give the best, like, oh wait, I'm already extremely heavily loaded. I'm already in... Oh, no, I'm in severe pain. Okay. Um, do 
want to get rid of that extremely heavy load. Right, let's walk back. If I walk to through a door, will he? He opens the door. He won't close it behind him, though. No, but that's interesting. I didn't know that. That could save you. I've found that sometimes I get stuck on door frames when I'm trying to run in a panic. Uh, wow, I'll definitely have to keep that one on my sleeve. Fast forward and while barricading is a bit glitchy, as you just saw. Like that. It fast forwards the animation of getting it out of your bag, but then doesn't fast forward the actual act of barricading every time. Particularly bad if you push F5. I oh, know I did it both that time. I think if I move, that's when it tends to uh, tends to not do it right. Right, well. Let's get all this wood up. Severe pain again. Agony again. My poor guy. Jeffrey is not used to this kind of exercise. He actually is now injured as well. Uh, yeah, we need to keep his food up in order to uh, stop him from dying. Oh, I forgot to pick up the pork chop. Damn it. Um, just... Peanut butter. And the crisps. Hunger away, but uh, I'm not quite satisfied with that. I want to. I think I want to start drinking the milk. Actually, let's put this away. Milk with us and get rid of that because I'm just not gonna. I know I've got flour, but I need a baking plate. The amount of stuff you need in order to make a um, cake, and I actually, I mean, yeah, I've got the skills to do it, but that's all I have. I've got my shells. Um, I actually just realised I also have welding rods and a propane torch and a propane tank at the other thing, so I could possibly weld myself some a new bonnet for the car. That's definitely something I'm gonna have to look into because I've never tried doing that before. Poor Jeffrey, in absolute agony. So I need a pro and I have a welder's mask as well. I actually think I have everything I need to do some metal work. Yeah, as I said, I've just not tried it, but uh, definitely worth trying. Okay, can we? Bookshelf. I'm not doing it because I don't want to make a mess. Like, is that seriously my? Oh, I didn't put it on the floor. That was stupid. Sorry, just bear with me. Wait. Thirty-seven. Ooh, I did actually get. Oh, screws, and that was it. Oh well. I don't want to disassemble everything in these. You know that that could be my bed. Um, that sofa. Ah, this is something I don't like in a game actually. Um, the transition to upstairs. I, I do feel like if there was a zombie at the top of the stairs, they could actually get me there. And I don't want that. Um, right, how do I do this? Pick up the lamp. I mean, I like that lamp. I'm taking that back with me. Okay. And while I remember, I'm turning that alarm off. I am so sick of hearing the alarms. I guess that's one saving grace of there being no more TV. It means no more alarms, so... But then I'm still having alarms go off, so there is that. Again, I'm not dismantling the bed, that could be my saviour in the future. If I have to just move across the road. Ah, thirsty, good. I can start drinking the milk. And I'll add a sheet to this window as well. As I have a spare. Oh, you can just click once to close them. I always shift and click, but um, yeah, you can um, click on the top of them. I said someone do that, and uh, didn't know if you could uh, do it in this version of the game. Um, disassemble white wood wardrobe. Oh, that was lucky. Wow, that's a lot of planks as well. Right, let's just quickly, because I'm already over encumbered, and I'm causing my guy a lot of pain. I've got a lamp on my hand. Like, how the hell I'd actually carry all this, you know? I'm not going to run, I'm just going to commit to drinking the uh, amount that I have drank. Because if I run, then I might not get the, the effect of it. 
Can I pick everything up? Is there actually a limit to how much I can carry? No, it appears like I can just carry everything. Whoa, actually, no, no, but drop. Drop, 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 drop. Thank you. I actually think that... I don't know if you can, but I think you can overload yourself to death. I don't. I didn't realise I could pick up that many planks and just be fine. Um, let's just see how many it takes to get extremely encumbered. That's very heavy load. Right, that's all I can carry then. Unless I drop the bag. Alright, let's drop the bag. This is a bit risky. Things I do for planks. Maybe I would have been better off... Ooh. Maybe I would have been better off carrying the bag and then having the planks in my hand and... Um, that's an interesting that I sort of was getting it out and then I just dropped all of them. Well. doesn't like going through that window. Um, right, let's grab a couple. That's... Oh, I'm only heavily loaded. Right, grab one more. Very heavy load. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I don't know if I can be... Can I take damage while heavily loaded? I think if I run, I can. Run. That doesn't appear to be dropping. I think it's only under extremely heavy load that you then start taking damage. I think it used to say at risk of back injury, but I've not seen it say that in a while. As I don't have the uh, thingy on me, I better take the wind, take the come on, barricade. I better take the nails I left behind. Glad I did now. That's handy. Oh, for God's sake! I did it again. Maybe when it's a face in a certain way. I try and fast forward again. Yeah, I did it again. Maybe it's just this window. There, fully barricaded on that side of the house. I have to take painkillers in order to sleep, sleep tonight for my character. Right, well, while we're here, let's just move this corpse. God, I'm surprised how quiet it is. Like, uh, I know we dipped the helicopter, like we dodged the helicopter, but uh, Jesus, I just thought it'd be um, heaving here right now, even despite, um, despite the fact the helicopter didn't come here. The other thing... I know that the horde number does increase over the course of the game, so eventually we're going to get just horde everywhere, I think. Um, but he won't drink the milk of his own accord. I have to make him drink it. Right. Um, very heavy load again. That's not too bad. Oh, I've still got the lamp on me. I'm <laughs> just ferrying the lamp around. Oh well. I love the lamp. I love lamp. It's not I love the lamp, is it? Hmm, can I climb up the rope with a very heavy load? The rope would barely take my weight anyway, in theory, right? The I don't I think when you're overly exerted to a point then you can't Oh no, I can carve no problem. Cool. Right, well I don't need to be up here, so that was pointless, but I just wondered if I could climb while heavily loaded. The answer is yes. It's when you're overexerted, I think. A moderate exertion, obviously, I can still climb it. I guess maybe I can only climb down. I'm not going to bore you by showing me going up and down constantly, but... Uh, yeah, this maybe it's facing this direction. Did it again, both times there. Well, we barricaded four of the windows. Um, guy's very hurt. He's really hurting, but he's going to survive because he's not bit. I think we're just going to sit on the floor and read some first aid. Maybe it'll uh, help us out when we do get bit or scratched. Oh, and I should probably be wearing my uh, protection as well. Put on the coat when we go out. Bear with me.
Right, of course, I'm tired now because my character only woke up at... Uh, can I drink... If I drink a quarter and then run while I'm doing it, then I'll... Uh, yeah, I can actually use it as water, effectively. I can just uh, moderate my drinking that way. Um, there's a way to see... Um, I know with mods and that, I can see um, my actual... Like, because obviously the, the hungry Moodle only comes up at a certain level, like hunger 10 or something like that, minus 10, and then minus 20 it will go to um, hungry. But, yeah, it would be good if I could know what the, what the what they are without having to use a mod. Can tomato. Can to hmm. Maybe I could have used that in the uh, recipes. And I forgot the bloody fork, pork chop. Like a pork chop and tomato? Um... Something or other? Oh, I still have a plank on me as well. Okay, well, let's just nail a plank up first. So, I guess I could make a tomato and pork chop stir fry. Let's see. I mean, it's going to be better than the sum of its parts, but I'd like to see how much better it's going to be with my hair yeah, cooking this um, unnecessarily high. I guess we'll find out right about now. So, I'm not going to be jumping out of this window, obviously. Oh, no, don't unbarricade. Uh, barricade. So. All the other windows I could, um, I can put four planks on each side and I think the planks add like 10 HP and the window has 10 HP or something like that. So you get up to 90 HP or something like that. Um, because you could put four planks on the inside, four planks on the outside. Obviously we can only do the outside of this window. But the advantage of barricading the inside is that you can then unbarricade it and climb out if you so wish. Though maybe I've done myself a disservice by not doing this. No, I think we won't be going out the windows. I think we'll just go out this way or the front door if it comes to it. And if the worst comes to the worst, I think I won't barricade this window anymore. And then we can go out that way. Obviously, if we barricade the outside, we then can't go out that way because we can't unbarricade it from the inside. Um, and we'd have to wait for the zombies to break it down, which would be suicidal. The disadvantage of having them on the in just on the inside like this is that I think they can break the window and then start battering the planks which makes noise that attracts more of them to you. So there's that. Um, let's go get that pork shop anyway. So survival is a bit dull, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not a lot to... Uh, not a lot to do right now. I just need to start sawing down some trees and that and making an axe. I'm going to have to get my foraging skill up. Um, or will I, actually? What is my foraging skill? Oh, my foraging is quite high because I took the outdoorsman or, or hiker trait, so... Um, a hiker would have to forage, but it is what it is. Get the coal pack as well. It'd be useful if you could use coal pack and injuries. Like, uh, if you sprain something falling out of a window, if sprains are in the game. Because I wouldn't mind, not gonna lie, because I, I took painkillers in real life for my ankle. Um, and yes, I'm now revealed, yes, I have actually recorded this episode back to back with episode 6. Um, it's not the recording of the episodes that's a bottleneck in this. It's the actually editing them down. I can record an episode in, you know, it's real time, a half an hour, an hour, but then for every hour of editing, it's about four hours, I'd say it's then four times longer to edit everything in, put in all the transitions and things like that. And I'm not even doing a lot with the editing, am I? I'm just uh, um, picking up this phone for beginners. It's annoying me, it's just there. I, yeah, I'm not doing a lot with my editing. I'm just putting text on and things like that. But even that takes time, you know. And uh, just to watch back everything as well and remember what I even did, um, episode to episode. Yeah, it can make it quite... Um, oh god, that's a proper milk carton as well. All right, stop drinking. Yeah, it can make it quite... Uh, quite time consuming. All the editing is the thing that takes the longest for me, by far. Let's uh, barricade the outside again here. So it's been a bit of a boring episode just working on the house, but uh, it's what needs to be done. It's going to be our first base, and uh, for now it's our main base. I think next episode we're going to take it to... Um, let's put Farm for Beginners down and this lamp down, and first day for Beginners a second. But next episode I think we're going to set up the other base. And maybe just scout out some other locations in the world as well. I mean, the world's our oyster. I wouldn't mind getting another car in particular, because uh, the car that we got is now damaged badly. The engine being damaged means it's loud, uh, which is bad. And um, where can I place the lamp? I can just put it down on the floor. And... Okay. Um, I guess we are just putting it down on the floor because I dismantled the... <laughs> well, not the best interior decor ever, is it? But there it is. Um, yeah, I dismantled the 
side table that it would have gone on, didn't I? I suppose we could put it on here, but then I don't really like the idea of it blocking the uh, exits. Look weird as well. It's not going to look in place anywhere. Right, let's make this die, of course. There's so many things to do. Right, I can make the pork chops, and I guess if I open the tomatoes, then I can... I don't know why I'm keeping these in here, actually. Um, should be in the fridge. They don't need to be in the fridge, it just makes it easier, life easier to store everything in the refrigerator. I think. Obviously, the things that can't be refrigerated don't even show up blue, but if you just store them in one place, if you don't need to store them all in your... Uh... Well, I'm about to use a can opener. But uh, it just keeps everything together if you store it in the uh, fridge. I doubt I'm the only person to do this. Can I... Yes, I can add the tomatoes to it. Right, let's go. Did I already add? Add a pork chop, so... Add... Oh, of course, I've got the spice of pepper. Pork chop again. Oh, yeah, see, this is dangerous. Do you see that bleach comes up at the top here? And it's very easy to just click add ingredient now, and it just keeps flicking back to bleach. Even if you have the one selected that you want to add, you know, then flick to bleach and you can then kill yourself. Um, which I nearly did. I made myself a poison food, um, which I cooked and it was still poison. I just chucked it and didn't eat it. Maybe I should have tried eating it just to see if it killed my character, but I was quite far in and I just thought, no, I'm not going to kill my character just for this experiment. Yeah, you know, I'm like two months into the game. Right, and that, because I already have a... Oh, no, I don't have a um, can opener on me. Okay, well, we'll carry around a can opener then. Weigh a bloody ton, but so be it. We're carrying around quite a lot of stuff I don't think we really need right now. We need all the garbage bags on us. Oh, not these two. Cold pack, I can go in the freezer. Uh... At least we've got something fresh. It'd be good if like um, you start to miss certain foods and then eating them gives you an additional debuff on like unhappiness to finally have something like, oh my god, I haven't had a burger in ages. You can just eat something in the middle of the zombie apocalypse that would really cheer you up. Um, that'd be quite an interesting mechanic, I think. So this is going to be quite healthy and uh, filling, actually. That's 52, that's not bad. Even though it's just pork chop and tomato. Okay, can I take it? Right. Hopefully healthy as well. Oh, I can actually see the calories and everything as well. Oh, I guess because I'm a high enough food. Wow, it's only 260 calories. Right, I could eat the whole thing and it would not actually do much for me. Whereas the crisps, yeah, 720 calories and they only do minus 15. This was like minus 52 for the whole thing. Yeah, look, I'm full to bursting. Can you actually... I don't know if you can eat more when you're full. Let's just check. Oh, you can? What the fuck? Okay. That's odd. Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I didn't think you... When it says full to bursting, I thought it just meant you couldn't actually eat more. It'd be interesting if you could eat more and make yourself sick, like in GTA San Andreas, where you just stand there eating, like, ten... I think you have to eat ten meals, and then you're finally sick. Right, so, character's bored. Very tired. Um, I think we'll stay up slightly longer and just read a bit, but after this, um, I think I'm going to call it a day for the day. And I'm uh, just going to get into do a little bit of exercise first. Body is okay now, so... Um, let's just do squats on the legs, so that I have use of my arms tomorrow, in case we actually encounter any zombies. Whoa, a lot of debuffs there. Moderate exertion. Squats again. Don't need to be excessively exerted, actually. Yeah, um, of course, I didn't strip off, so now I'm all wet. That was silly. I should have stripped off. Oh well. Um, let's put the bag on my back. And drink the milk. What happened to the milk? Oh, it's gone, of course. Um, but we have a water bottle, so. so and this is anything else. Ooh, actually, because this. Decreases unhappiness. Mm. I do kind of want to drink the pop. 
Yeah, let's drink that actually. Um, I don't know if, like, I'm in danger of becoming unhappy, but I don't really know how it works. Is it just a dice roll? Like, will I start to? Is my is my unhappiness just creeping up while I have this moodle, or is it just the it just RNGs and uh, randomly I'll become unhappy while I have it? Questions, questions. Let's um, get some sleep anyway. So, um, rather a dull episode of the um, series, but things like this need to happen in order to progress in the game. So, um, once again, my name is Sergeant Smoothie, and this has been Project Zomboid, Episode 7 with Jeffrey Harris.